Shiro Tashi. Okay, now the next fall we'll look at is Ushiro Tashi. Uh, that's uh, the fall where you need to be able to keep the body going while it's being thrown backwards at the same time. Now I've split these up into three, three basic variations, uh, depending on your capability or your physicality and your, and your suppleness. So, you know, it doesn't matter what stage you're at, you should be able to do one of these falls. Obviously you want to, if you can, progress to the to the, 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 the higher level one, but if not, it doesn't really matter. So long as you're capable of doing one of these falls, then you're perfectly safe. Okay, so I'll go through the easiest one first. Now we've done a similar kind of fall already with the Yoko Kaiten, only this time we're gonna start as if you're walking forward. So in a position where you're walking forward and something's coming directly to your face and you need to get it out the way, okay? So it starts, like I said, walking forward, uh, and then you're gonna slide the body through. So let me do it slowly first. So walking forward, body stretches, turns and faces where it came from. Okay, I'm walking forward, but as I do that, arch the back as you do, as you go forward. So you get the feeling of the fact that something's coming towards your face. Okay, and as you're doing that, you're taking the step, turn the hip a little bit, but keep the head that way. Don't turn it around, because you want to see what's coming towards you. Don't turn your face away from it, because it will still hit you. So you want to be able to see where it's coming. Okay, as you go back, tuck, leg slides under, and then round. Okay, coming towards you. As you go forward, stretch. Let the body slide through at an angle. One, and again, finish up where you came from. Again, I'll show these in an actual working situation so you can see them much clearly a little bit later with a partner. Okay. It's very important. It's just the same fall. Keep very relaxed. It's very important that you stretch, your, arch your back a little bit. But if you're not too supple in the back, it's not like you have to go whoop, too far because you can slide the leg through and use your legs to support yourself. Okay, I'll just demonstrate one more. Forward. Imagine something's coming towards your face. Remember. Okay, back. And turn. Next variation of the same fall uh, needs a little bit more suppleness in the back, I, I guess, and a little more strength in the legs. But again, it's not a question of, uh, it's just allowing yourself to absorb uh, the movement as you go forward. First I'll do in the static position. Again, think of a roll. So if your body is like so, you know, lying flat, and then you think that you need the body to roll, if you keep your hands in this position, and think that you're just rolling across the body, like, you, like so, round movement. Okay, that kind of feeling. Okay, so now we're going to do that in the legs, more or less sort of body width apart. Then you're going to arch back and lower yourself down, like so, keeping the hips off the mat. And then turn. As you turn, again, I'm coming up in hand me, facing the direction that I came from. Okay, so I'm being, my body's traveling this way, I want to face that way. So I go one, and turn around, just pull that other leg up. Okay, let me just show again from this angle, going across, stretch, again, as I go back, turn, put the hand down again, not rigid, just put it down next to you, keep it soft and just roll across your arms and your shoulders, looking where you came from, okay? Then when you get the feeling of that, we do that in motion as if you're walking forward, okay? So that happens like so, again, coming back where I came from. Okay, I'll do that once more. Walking forward. Again, imagine something's coming towards your face. Again, we'll do these with a partner so you can see them uh, working a little more clearer later. Okay, so walking forward. Now, as you step, the foot that the side you want to go on, keep that there. Let the other leg slide forward. As it slides forward, allow the body to turn. The hip just goes through like so. Put the hand down at the same time. Turn and face where you came from. Okay, once more. Body's moving forward. Slides. Down, face where you came from. Okay, now the next one uh, is a little bit more spectacular, I guess, because this is the same fall, but this time you're allowing your feet to actually be in the air. 
but using the same idea with the last two. So those who are a little bit more nimble and the more uh, able to want to try and do this, they can, they can practice it. But first of all, go through the other two first so they get comfortable with doing that kind of movement. Then with time, you'll find that you naturally go through and then allow your body, your feet to go up in the air. Okay, so again, the same feeling as if somebody's coming towards you and you need to get through. So I'll just demonstrate them a few times first. I'm make sure I have some room here. So as you're going forward, thinking going back. And just allow the feet as if they want to keep running up in the air. As I do so, the body's going to go up and turn, just like I did with the last one. Find the mat and roll across my shoulders. By the time I turn around, your feet should be coming down. So let me try and do one first, so you can see. One, up, and turn around. Again, round. Body doesn't clash when it hits the ground. Okay? You've got to be able to turn the hips. Find where your body is, turn your hips, tuck the closest leg that you're turning on, almost ends like you're going to do a front roll, same tucking position, almost. Okay, again. And turn. Okay. I'll try and do it again, just sort of hang in the air a little bit. Uh, if you need to do it so there's a little bit of height. Don't do it so it's low to the ground. Uh, as you go back, body turns and reaches for the mat. As soon as you feel the mat, start the body rotating. Don't wait for your feet to come down on the ground. Okay, let me just show again the same thing. Okay, I'll try facing so you can see the body actually turning as I go over. Okay, okay now let's look at Ushiro Otashi. Uh, remember earlier I did three variations of the same four. Yeah. Okay, so the easiest one or the most basic one is where you're just going forward and you support yourself and slide through. Take the stretch and body goes through like so. Okay, body's going forward again, push to show, stretching, and then slide through. Okay, again, ex partner practice exercises to use that. To practice that, okay. Uh, let me do the first one. Okay, all you do is have Uke standing in front of you like so with the arm out. Okay, and it's like I'm just walking into the arm like so. Okay, and back. Forward. Okay, so I'm just going forward and absorbing that movement and turning. So what we have is as Uke is going like so, body wants to turn a little bit. But remember, you don't turn the head away. You keep walking straight forward. So it allows you to bend and then turn. Okay? So first off, I can do this pretty stationary. Allow Uke to do their own thing. Like so. One more time. Okay. Now I can add just a little bit of movement to that so it has the reality of an actual throw or being thrown into it so I can turn into it like so. Turn. So you get the same effect. They're being turned over so they're following that movement, same time allowing their balance to go through. Their body to go through, turn and fall. Okay, okay let's go this way. Again, this is reference, so the idea is not to throw my head back, it's to leave my head there and then as if pivot around that. So my feet goes up as I go through. That's coming towards my face, remember, that's doing so. So I'm responding to that and through. Okay, going forward and going through. Again, you can put a little more reality with that, so you can get Uke to turn it as you reach, and then do the fall as if you're really being thrown into it. And same side. Getting that feeling as you go forward. Thank you.